I just wanted to share with you my experience at the recent March for Marriage in Sydney that was held last Saturday, the 9th of September, 2017. So the day started out with a few of our church members meeting at my house in the morning to make our signs. And then at about 11 a.m., we left as a group to catch a train into the city. And we arrived at St. James Station at around 1 p.m. And this is the train station, which is closest to the meeting point in Hyde Park. So when we got there, there was already a few hundred people gathered around Archibald Fountain. Some people thought we were the march organizers because the two men I was traveling with were both wearing black shirts with white riding. And one of the shirts said straight pride on the front. And the other said on the back, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And Nathan had both my megaphones slung over his shoulder. So we looked organized, even though we weren't the organizers. So our group got to work, you know, getting our signs assembled and I got all my recording equipment set up and ready. And then I noticed a cameraman setting up a few meters away. So I walked over to him to find out what channel or station he was from. And he was from the AFP news agency and asked if I was happy uh, to do a short interview. So I agreed, but I made sure to get my own recording as well, just in case. And I'll put a link to the interview on the end screen so you can listen to the whole conversation. The journalist was personally in support of the rede redefinition of marriage. So I thought I'd throw a few questions at him as well to see how he would respond. Uh, my interview didn't make it into the final cut and it was only reported uh, in their video that only a few hundred attended when in reality it was closer to a thousand, you know, possibly more. I have a recording of the whole group of marches from beginning to end, so I'll let you count and you can let me know your estimate in the comments below. Now after the interview was over, the area was starting to get really crowded and the walkways through the park were being blocked. So the police were starting to get concerned and they asked the marshals to start preparing the crowd. And I was actually asked to help announce over the megaphone. So we lined everyone up on the path that leads to the entrance of St. James Station. Uh, the route had already been planned out, so we just had to follow the police escort. Now, as we were walking down Elizabeth Street, I remember looking back and thinking how big the crowd was, because we were halfway down Elizabeth Street and the crowd still stretched down the road and up the path toward Archibald Fountain, where we had originally met. And I was really only expecting a few hundred people to show up, since most people would have only had about one week's notice. Oh man, look how many people there are. <laughs> All right. To give a bit of background, the march was organized in a very short period of time and only began advertising about two weeks prior to the date on a very limited budget. Now I tried to help where I could to get the word out by making my own promotional video, but some of the other larger online pro-marriage groups only caught wind of the event and shared the details on their pages uh, a day or two before. So as we marched, uh, some people sang, Others chanted and others just walked along smiling. You know, I decided to share some of my own views on the topic as I was marching. So over a megaphone, I was uh, explaining why the common arguments we hear to redefine marriage are not sound and why marriage is only for one man and one woman. And some of the people around me were asking me to get a chant going, but you know, I didn't have any ideas and neither did the people around me. So if you know of a good one, suggest it in the comments. And if there's one I like, I'll see if I can get that one going next time. We encountered almost no negativity along the way. Uh, I had brought my whole family for the march, as did others, but some left their family at home due to fear of potential confrontation with counter protesters. Uh, but that didn't actually happen. Once we had arrived back to Hyde Park, uh, we spent some time meeting new people and we also had the opportunity to explain to some how they could know for sure they were going to heaven. You see, many people know that Jesus Christ was crucified for our sins and rose again the third day, but they're still unsure whether or not they'll make it to heaven, and it's usually because they're still trusting their own good works. But it's not our good works, charity or poli political activism uh, that gets us to heaven, but putting your faith on the one who can save you, and that is Jesus Christ.
Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And a very famous verse is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, I don't get myself to heaven and Jesus Christ saves me from hell and his works get me to heaven. Now, many people I met there told me how thankful they were that this march was organized and expressed that, you know, they knew of many more people, you know, some said thousands that would have joined us had they been notified of it earlier. So there may be another march organized in the near future, but with the postal votes already hitting homes last week, it might be better to wait and see until after the postal survey results come out on the 15th of November and then decide on a date. So let me know in the comments when you think the next March should be, and I can pass that feedback on to Philippa. You can share this video to let people know that a March was held and that it was a much larger group than the media had reported, because we can't count on mainstream media for objective reporting. So we need to be our own media. So make sure you are sharing posts, articles, websites, and videos like this one on social media to help get the word out.